Hey guys, it's Ed. I am here at the Bryan County Administrative Center. Right? Administrative complex, administrative complex. Um, I was driving out here. We just sold a house out here in Buckhead East. We closed yesterday and sold it for the highest price per square foot of any house out here. But that's not why I'm doing this quick vlog video is that I'm um, driving out here they finished the road, uh, the 144, the road that comes out into Richmond Hill. Um, they finished the road, it's four lanes now. It's absolutely beautiful. And I wanted to give you a quick tour of Richmond Hill. Uh, Richmond Hill is in Bryan County, hence the Bryan County Administrative Center um, complex. And um, it's the fastest growing county in Georgia. I don't know if you knew that, but that's something that uh, I read a couple weeks ago, that it's the fastest growing county in Georgia. But this road right here makes a huge difference to get out here. Sorry for the quick camera flip. Uh, this is um, oh, the end of the new construction to the left of the roundabout. Uh, that way is the basically the end of the earth as far as Richmond Hill is concerned. Um, about another two miles, mile, maybe a mile, mile and a half down that way, 144. But that's the new roundabout. So we're going to go uh, take a cruise down the new... Um, the new road and check it out and check out Richmond Hill and again Bryan County fastest growing county in um, Georgia that's the new roundabout all right this is the beginning all right this is the beginning of the new road it is smooth Four lanes, two lanes going west, two lanes going east. And this goes right through Richmond Hill and is fantastic, safe, and so much quicker to get uh, uh, to and from uh, Richmond Hill. Uh, and like I said, Buckhead East is back there. That's a beautiful neighborhood. Sorry for the wind noise, but um, I'll close the windows real quick. It's a pretty morning out, so I had the windows open. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Um, Buckhead East is at... The, uh, that roundabout right behind the Bryan County Administrative Center. Um, that is an absolutely gorgeous community back there. Most of, mostly new houses. Uh, there's an elementary school back there. There's a park. There's football fields, soccer fields, baseball fields, a running path, a bike path, a pool, playground. Um, it's got everything back there that you could imagine. And I don't know if you can check this out. Let me, I'll, I'll turn the check out. This whole way, it's about eight miles, I think. I'll, I'll double check, but I think it's about eight miles. The whole way, there's a bike path and sidewalks on both sides. So this is a phenomenal job, whoever designed this. Standing underneath the lights Look into each other's eyes Tired snowflakes are coming down one of the cool things is right around that roundabout, and again, sorry for the wind noise, but it's a beautiful morning and I got the windows open. But um, that roundabout, there is a new exit on 95, and I think it's an exit 84? It's exit 84 on 95, that's Belfast Keller. That's that road. I can promise you're the only thing I see. Hold my hand and hear the words I say. Belfast Keller is the, one of the roads on the um, roundabout that we were just at and that cuts off probably 15-20 minutes uh, commute time uh, getting on and off 95 right there and not having to travel on this this road okay so the new road ended back there a little bit but this is this has always been not always but it's been four lane for quite a while but see how fast that was and how easy it is to get out here one of the things I'll tell you that people don't think about when you're buying a house or you're moving someplace, when you have proper and fantastic roads to get to and from and in and out of, a, of an area, a neighborhood, a city, um, your real estate values are going to go up. So I'm going to bet you in the next two years, year and a half, two years, when this catches on, because the biggest thing is that it, it, it's a pain in the neck to get to the end of Richmond Hill, um, less people are going to want to live out there. Because it's like, well, wait a minute, it's two lanes, it's a pain in the neck, it takes forever. This this cuts the commute time down by 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, and it makes it and it makes it easier. So it's much easier to get 
in and out of Richmond Hill. So this is the end of, uh, I'm going to make a right up here to go back to uh, uh, Savannah. Uh, but anyway, this is the end. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something and this was helpful. But this is basically most of the neighborhoods in, most of the neighborhoods in Richmond Hill are, are behind us where we just drove through. This is the, uh, the shopping, uh, industrial, commercial area up here. Uh, again, we're on, this is, uh, this is Route 144 that we're on right now. Uh, and then this is 17 up here, the crossroads. This is the, like the, the, if you want to say downtown, but this is what I would consider the center of Richmond Hill. So anyway, hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. And please like, subscribe, and share. Give me a thumbs up. Let me shut that blinker up. Give me a thumbs up and um, let me know, uh, comment in the below. Let me know if you like the video, if there's any other things you want to see as far as uh, stuff going on in uh, Savannah. Thanks. And hear the words I say. Close your eyes and let us fade away.